Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at a property of Laplace transform dealing with differentiation in S domain. Differentiation in S domain. The property can be stated as follows. If Laplace transform of a function f of t is equal to f of s then Laplace transform of t power n multiplied by f of t is equal to minus 1 power n multiplied by nth derivative of the Laplace transform of the original function f of t. This symbol f power n in parentheses of s basically stands for nth derivative with respect to s of the function f of s. So now let us look at the proof for this theorem. We are going to use proof by induction. For, for n equal to 1, let us look at the definition of a Laplace transform that is integral 0 to infinity e power minus st f of t dt is equal to f of s. Now differentiating with respect to s on both sides we have integral 0 to infinity minus t into e power minus st f of t dt is equal to the derivative of f of s with respect to s which is equal to f dash of s. Now by sending the minus 1 to the right side we can clearly see that is equal to integral 0 to infinity e power minus st t into f of t dt is equal to minus 1 into f dash of s. This basically says that or this equation implies that Laplace transform of t times f of t is equal to minus 1 into f dash of s which proves the theorem for n equal to 1. Now for n equal to 2 we have to differentiate this equation with respect to s that is integral 0 to infinity minus t into e power minus st t times f of t dt is equal to minus 1 into f double dash of s that is derivative of f dash of s which is f double dash of s. Again by simply sending the minus 1 to the other side we can clearly see that the Laplace transform of t square into f of t is equal to minus 1 squared f double dash of s. Thus, the theorem is also valid for n equal to 2. Now, let us assume that it is valid for n equal to m, that is Laplace transform of t power m f of t is equal to minus 1 power m into m to derivative of s, that is integral 0 to infinity e power minus st t power m f of t dt is equal to minus 1 or m m to derivative of f of s. Now we have to prove that the theorem is also valid for m equal to m plus 1 for n equal to m plus 1. So differentiating this equation on both sides with respect to s we have integral 0 to infinity minus t e power minus st t power m f of t dt is equal to minus 1 power m m plus 1 to derivative of f of s and again by sending the minus 1 onto the right side we can write that Laplace transform of t power m plus 1 into f of t is equal to minus 1 power m plus 1 into f of the m plus 1 to derivative of f of s. Thus when the theorem is valid for n equal to m, it is also valid for m plus 1. That is, n equal to m implies that theorem, if theorem, that is the theorem, theorem in this equation, Laplace transform of t power n into f of t is equal to minus 1 power n into nth derivative of, nth derivative of f of s. If this is valid, if this equation 1 is valid, for n equal to 1, n equal to m, that is, theorem 1 is valid for n equal to m, then the theorem 1 is also valid for n equal to 
m plus 1. And since it is valid for 1 and 2, and now for n equal to m plus 1 via n equal to m, this basically proves the theorem by mathematical induction. Hence, theorem in equation 1 is proved by induction. Thus, differentiation in S domain is equivalent to multiplying the function with a nth power of the time t. Thanks for watching.